Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. Today I'm doing a first impressions, kind of, I've played around with this palette a little bit, but this is really my first time delving into it. So we're doing a little bit of a first impressions, we're doing swatches and a review of the new Master by Mario palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. So this palette retails for, I believe it's 59 Canadian dollars. Um, I'm not sure on the US price, but I'll put that down below. Um, but it retails for 59 Canadian dollars and it contains 12 eyeshadows. Now these eyeshadows are very much in the warm, neutral, jewel family, with most of the shadows being uh, quite shimmery, which I think is really nice. I mean, I do like matte shadows. There are maybe three, three matte shadows in this palette, and um, I, mean, I do like matte shadows. I know people are crazy about them, but I love shimmer, especially as we head into the holidays. Now, I'm gonna be honest, I was really skeptical about this palette. I was not planning on buying it. I mean, you know, it just seems that everybody has a collaboration palette out right now. A lot of them really aren't that good um, and with all of the holiday sets. And so I really wasn't planning on getting this. And then I had to return something, so I ended up with like a $25, $30 Sephora gift card. <sighs> and I was in the Sephora and I asked if they had the palette because I wanted to swatch it so at least I could kind of make my mind up for myself. I swatched it and it was honestly love at first swatch. Love at first swatch. I mean, these shadows are pigmented, they're gorgeous, and I swatched them and I just bought it. <laughs> um, so I think this palette has a really beautiful range of colors as we head into the holidays. And um, today I actually tested out one of the shadows I didn't think would be very wearable for me, bronze. And as you can see, I think my makeup looks pretty good today and it's a lot more wearable than I thought. So I'm really happy with this palette. I'm also really happy with the brush they included. I think this brush is great quality. You've got a nice fluffy dome on one end and a more like a more dense kind of shadow packet on uh, end on the other. And so this entire look today I did, or the entire eye look I did today was only using the included brush. So I think the brush really just adds value to this set um, and I'm just really happy to have it. So in this video, you're going to see me uh, do my makeup, make this happen, and then you're also going to see um, some live swatches. I will just say some of my favorite shadows. Um, I So in terms of shadows, I really like Hollywood, Kim is really nice, Muse, Mariana, Paris, and Fifth Avenue. Um, for those of you that know me, you know I love my shimmery bronzy gold, so really that selection is not a surprise. I also really liked Bronx when I put it on today. I thought it just it blended really well and looked really nice. Um, Claudia is a color I would definitely use in my crease. The only color that I don't really see myself wearing is Isabel, which is this orange shade. But I also kind of feel like as a beauty blogger, I should probably expand my horizons a bit and give it a shot. Okay, so let's start playing with this palette. So the only brush I'm going to be using for this first impressions little tutorial is the brush that came included. Now it has a nice uh, dense end that you can pack um, make more pigment onto, and a nice fluffy crease brush. So I've already primed, um, so I've already actually done all of my makeup except for my eyes. Um, I've, primed my, I've primed my eyelids with MAC Paint Pot Painterly. So I'm gonna start by taking the fluffy end of this brush and just kind of putting Hollywood, um, which is this shade up here, all over um, my lid from my crease to my eyebrow. So the reason I put that all over there is I just find it makes it easier to blend um, when you have you know a primer down. If you just have a kind of a shadow base, and this one's just a really nice soft wash of color that I think looks great on its own. So in the crease, what do I want to? I really want to try Bronx, which is this nice olive color right there. So again, using the fluffy end of the brush, I'm just kind of dabbing it in just a couple times. I'm going to start on the outer corner and using a little circle motion, I'm going to bring it and sweep it in.
Okay, so I was actually really intimidated by Bronx because it is that kind of olive shade and I don't have any colors like in my collection, but that's why I'm so excited to try it in this look today. So uh, yeah, I like it. So now what I'm going to do is I want to add a little bit of Paris, which is this shade over here right beside Bronx. I'm just going to use it to kind of blend it in just on the edges a little bit. Again, still using the crease brush. Now as you've noticed, I haven't really wiped it off between any shades. Um, and the reason I'm doing that is I just want everything to kind of blend nicely. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is take this packed end of the brush and I think I'm going to I'm going to put Mariana, which is this beautiful shade right here, onto my lid. And I gotta be honest, when I was putting together my thoughts on how I would do this tutorial, I didn't think I'd be on this end of the palette. I thought it was gonna be much warmer. Oops. And then I'm gonna take the, um, the fluffy end again. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of Violetta, which is this kind of warm um, matte shade, and just deepen my outer crease just a little bit. Okay, so I've got my eyeshadow on. I'm gonna pop off camera and put on my mascara and my eyeliner, and then we're gonna get on with the rest of this review. So there's the completed look I put together. Um, I'm really loving this olive smoky eye. When I was in the bathroom just doing my mascara and my eyeliner, my mom was like, why do you do eye makeup like that? I'm like, you didn't ask? I mean, sure. <laughs> um, and I just wanted to share one really exciting thing with you. As you can see, my brows obviously look perfect today. That's because I got my eyebrows done yesterday at Sephora at the Benefit Brow Boutique. I love getting my brows done with them. I think they do an incredible job. And I love that for the couple of days following, it's like, I just need a little bit to give me brown, and then they're like perfect. So I'm just really, really happy with this. Okay, so let's get on to the swatches, and then I'm gonna talk about my overall views. I've got the palette. The way I'm gonna be doing it, I'm gonna use the brush that was included, um, the denser end. I'm just gonna clean it off first, and um, I'm gonna do finger swatches and brush swatches. So I'm just cleaning my brush. Um, the funny thing with this palette for me is I was not going to buy it. Just. I haven't really heard of Mario, still don't really know too much about him. Um, I need another eyeshadow palette, like I need a hole in a foot. And then I was, had a $30 gift card to support and I was in the store. <sighs> and then I swatched it. And then I bought it. So let's get on to these swatches. So how are we going to do this? Like this? Okay, so let's start with Hollywood. So there are the swatches, as you can see they're super pigmented, a fair number of them are quite shimmery, and it's just beautiful. So let's move on to the bottom row of the palette. I never realized how difficult live swatching is, so to all those bloggers that like do it regularly, like, okay, on to the bottom row. So we're going to start with Luella. Ooh, Luella is beautiful, I'll have to try this one next time. Isabel. Violetta, Fifth Ave, ooh, Fifth Ave is beautiful. It's actually one of my favorite shadows in this palette. I just, I've been using it so much, so I wanted to try some other ones for this tutorial. Bronx, as you know, Bronx is stunning. And Paris. And what I think is really cool about this palette is all of the shadows are named for things that matter to them. So there are the swatches. We've got Luella all the way through Paris. 
So these are beautiful. Again, the brushes and the finger swatches are super pigmented. So I'm gonna take that off, talk a little bit more about the palette, and then let you get on with your life. So I hope you enjoyed this look. I hope you enjoyed the swatches, and I hope you enjoyed my thoughts on this palette. I don't think that this palette is necessary for everybody, but if you can see yourself using these colors, I mean, they are just such a great formula. They blend so easily. They are just so pigmented. So, I mean, I think it's beautiful as we head into the holidays. I think it's a really good late fall Christmassy type palette. Um, I don't think this is something everybody needs, and if you don't see yourself wearing it, don't feel pressured to buy it. I'm really glad I added it my, to my collection, but as I mentioned before, I was very skeptical. So thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Um, by the time this video is up, or shortly thereafter, um, I'm gonna be launching my 500 subscriber giveaway. At the time of filming, I'm at 497 subscribers. So I am so close, it's gonna be such a great giveaway, or it is such a great giveaway, depending on when this gets posted. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely subscribe, enter my giveaway. And um, I'd love to know your thoughts on this palette. Are you planning on purchasing it? You know, what made you want to buy it? Or, you know, what made you a little more skeptical? And yeah, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Bye.